speaking of coroners, in the state, the great state, I uh, would say, I would say it's a great state, in the great state of New Jersey, um, we've got some old school style political assassinations going on. Like things are getting really interesting in, uh, in New Jersey. This is the second political assassination in a week in New Jersey. So let's check this out. New Jersey council member is fatally shot one week after the slaying of another lawmaker. So this is not the same, uh, city. This is not the same council. Uh, but these are two Republicans that have been shot and killed in the matter of a week in New Jersey. So there's something, something in the water in New Jersey. I'm not sure what's going on there. But let's read here. A New Jersey council member was fatally shot in a parking lot outside his job Wednesday, just one week after another politician in the state was gunned down in her car. Russell Heller, 51, a Republican representing the Milford area, was found dead just after 7 a.m. in the parking lot of PSE Ampersand G, the energy company where he worked, the Somerset County Prosecutor's Office said. Authorities quickly determined that a former employee of PSE Ampersand G identified as Gary T. Curtis, the T stands for the, 58 of Washington, had approached Heller in the parking lot and shot him outside his vehicle, the prosecutor's office said. Detectives were able to track Curtis down hours later to a parking lot area in Bridgewater Township where they found him with a self-inflicted gunshot wound, it said. Curtis, who was in possession of a firearm at the time, was pronounced dead shortly after. Detectives are still working to establish a motive in the incident. Heller's death comes a week after Eunice Dwumfor, a fellow Republican who had represented Sayerville, was found fatally shot in her vehicle near her home. Police have yet to identify a potential suspect or motive in her death. Sayerville is 55 miles east of Milford. So again, we have. when's the last time you've seen political assassinations in this country? It's been a long time. Again, we've had lots of threats of violence, right? We've had lots of, you know, people shooting at politicians, people throwing things at politicians, but we haven't seen political assassinations in a while. And I feel like this is an underreported story. I mean, the first one a week ago, Eunice Dwumford, I feel like that was an underreported story. But how many people are going to talk about how politicians are getting shot and killed in New Jersey? I mean, this I feel like this is like a big news story. I don't know. Uh, are we entering an era where politicians are just going to get shot and killed willy-nilly? Um, because like I said, being in an America, uh, being in America, you're very likely to get shot and killed at random. Going to the grocery store, going to the fucking you know, shoe store, going to the mall, going to Walmart, you know, um, so I say, you know what, if politicians start having to fear for their lives, because now politicians are getting capped in the streets, I say, hey, it equalizes the playing field, maybe we'll do something about gun violence, right, but I'm just saying, I'm not advocating political violence, I'm not advocating you go out and shoot anybody, of course, but what I'm saying is, you know, politicians, they feel like they don't really, you know, they don't really have to worry about what the everyday person has to worry about. So, but anyway, I think this might be interesting. And again, is there going to be a third? And they're both Republicans that have been killed. So that's, that's got to be said. They are Republicans. So let's be honest. The world's better off without them. <laughs> I mean, I'm just being honest. I'm not endorsing these, uh, you know, these attacks. I don't, I don't endorse that at all. I'm just saying, if a Republican, I don't care if they leave office, but if they're no longer in office, that benefits everybody else. So, just throwing that out there. Uh, but again, there is something going on in New Jersey. I don't really know. Uh, second political assassination in one week. I mean, I don't know. You don't see this kind of stuff often. So, you know, it's something to think about for sure.